Hey guys, so I just edited this video and I just want to give a warning that, and I'm doing it right now, I talk with my hands a ton, okay? Meaning, as I'm talking, I'm clicking, clacking on my desk. So I'm aware of it. Please, please go easy on your girl. Um, and that is something I will be working on in future videos. Okay, let's jump into the video. Oops, let's jump into the video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name's Rhonda, and today I'm gonna show you guys my finished beauty room, as well as you guys have been asking about this eye look. So I'm gonna pop in some pictures of what my beauty space looked like beforehand. I did film it. Um, my I'm on my I'm on my phone right now, so sorry if it gets a little wonky. Um, but anyways, um, I did film it. It was pretty emotional, so I figured <laughs> I figured I would just give you guys the grand reveal here um so let's do a before let's do an after and then i may or may not edit that video like i said i was really in my feels it, it really kicked up way more than i i thought it would um it was therapeutic but it was uh it was a lot so anyways if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Rhonda, and over here we embrace the hot mess this is a judgment-free drama-free stress-free zone where we do the things so this is kind of starting off like a vlog style video um, but we're gonna I'm gonna get into how I created this look and let's just get into the most exciting part Which is what the beauty room looked before And what it looks like now Okay, and here she is so over here. We do have some PR um, to unbox but yeah, here it is. I'm finally done. Um, I was yesterday, literally my sign arrived last night. Um, I got it off Amazon. It was the coolest thing ever. I found a coupon um, and literally I think I paid $78, I think for that, that custom thing. I was so excited over it. And then my husband had this really good idea. See, that is my what was in my PR uh, box for my collab with Over Cosmetics, which he said, let's make an accomplishment wall is what he calls it. So here we've got the photo shoot that I had for my collection with Over Cosmetics. So isn't that so cool? Um, oh, I forgot to turn my little light on. This is actually from Timu, Amazon, like the furniture is from Ikea. These tall or these shorter ones right here are from Ikea. These are actually from these six right here in the center are from Michael's um, and they're stacked on top of each other. When they went on sale for like $49 a piece, I had, these are the ones you guys used to see in my background, um, but we stacked them. My husband like somehow did whatever together and yeah. And then over here, look how nice and organized. I got rid of so many palettes, you all. Like I'm beyond proud of myself and everything is so organized. I'm just like on cloud nine. So remember we were kind of talking about the shelves that were on Amazon. I couldn't decide why well, I ended up going with these. They were less expensive um, from Walmart. And then behind that, I as like an accent, is a wallpaper, like a stick on wallpaper that you don't have to commit to. Um, and then of course, this is Project Influencer 2022 with Over Cosmetics. That is my collection that I created everything. And of course I had to keep my candles from Martha. I kept my little things, I think Melissa, I think is um, who makes these for me every year. I had to keep those and of course my beautiful blinged brushes. And let's see here, those are from Timu, Timu. That is from The Good Candle. This is from Timu here. This of course, Haley gets these for me. And then I've got, this is when, um, this is one of the photo shoots with Over Cosmetics. And then when Haley and I, we're at um, Ofer Cosmetics for their Miami launch event. Jotty and all the girls at Ofra. And yeah, guys, that is the grand reveal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into 
how I created this look. Actually, let's just go ahead and start filming over at my desk. How about that? Tell a friend to tell a friend. She's back. <laughs> Hey y'all and welcome to the new beauty room studio office. I thought what better way to sit down and create a look in my new beauty space of course with my collection with Ofra Cosmetics the unconditional palette is what I use to create this eye look for today. I've been sporting this eye look on a few videos over on my vlog channel over here with some unboxings and I thought you know I can give you guys like a little before and after dealio. Like I said in the beginning I may, I may I may film the video it like I said it was just it was really emotional because it was a lot of me realizing the things that I have gone through through the years um, and to get to where I'm at here and it was just a lot so it was very therapeutic I, I don't know anyways uh, but yeah welcome to my beauty space I hope you guys are excited about it like I am it's really nice to have the clutter out and and just feel fresh so I thought since you guys were asking a lot about this look I thought it was great for fall it's what I've been sporting because you guys know your girl's been struggling when it comes to embracing fall so uh, yeah we're gonna create this look using the unconditional palette this is still available at Ofra Cosmetics I created all of this and I know that like this is a repeat for a lot of y'all you're like Rada we know we know you did that I'm like I know but like it's still wild and crazy to me okay guys it's still wild and crazy I do want to give a big shout out and thank you to my YouTube members thank you guys so so much for helping to support the channel I appreciate y'all so so much did not realize I have makeup all over my shirt uh, it's fine we embrace the hot mess here anyways a huge shout out and thank you to those of you that are clicking the thanks button and donating to the channel you don't have to but you choose to and that is something that YouTube has now implemented where and if you don't want to sign up for the membership program you can just go ahead and click thanks and tip the creator if you want to okay friends so let's go ahead I'm gonna do a little voiceover so I can really kind of let you guys know exactly what I was doing everything for creating this eye look hey friends we're gonna jump into the shade fam bam we're gonna use this as our transition shade doing the typical little tap tap dab dab method and I like to just build the product up before I start kind of maneuvering it around making sure I get underneath the eyes to hide those wrinkles and crinkles next I'm gonna jump into the shade soulmate and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid and if you are not blowing the excess shadow <laughs> off of your cheek how you doing it because I know no other way that that's the way I do it and of course hiding those wrinkles and crinkles with a putting it underneath the eye next we're gonna jump into a love you more and I'm gonna pat that on and honestly I should have switched my brush to like a soft angled brush um, because I did kind of patch this out just a little bit using the incorrect brush but it's okay it still turned out fine I'm just letting you know I know there's some patches there but you know live and learn and move on with life it's just makeup it washes off all is good in the hood so anywho I continue to build that up and then I'm gonna jump back into soulmate and I'm gonna do my little cheat sheet blending where I just kind of tap it over the line of demarcation there and lightly buff it along and from there I do keep doing the little like tappity tap over top of that shade to just soften it up and jump into the shade mom life to kind of highlight the brow a little bit but to also soften up all around the eye then with my finger I'm gonna jump back into the shade soulmate and I'm just gonna pat that in the inner corner to like the middle part of my eyelid and just kind of smooth that all over the lid All right, y'all, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and maybe I got in my head 
the reason I like doing the voiceover like that, like one, I get to really kind of concentrate. I'm leaving a lot of the clips in for this and I may just speed it up. You guys are seeing how I'm creating the, the look that I created with my palette and of course it's available over at code Hot Mess. I'll save you that 20% off. I don't know if any of that's making sense. I am filming much later in the day. It's almost 5 o'clock, but I was having some family time and everything before the kids left to go to class college life you know all of that so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you guys enjoy our space because this is this is this is it y'all this is where we're going to be filming chatting carrying on and thank you all thank you all for the love the support the the success of this channel everything uh, without y'all none of this would be possible so thank you all for everything uh, definitely make sure to check me out on my other channels hot miss mama vlogs for curvy girl fashion hauls over there hot miss in the kitchen where i am doing kind of what i eat in a days over there and everything if you guys are curious as to what is on my lips i actually mix ecstasy and this is the Dry Cosmetics Nude Shade. I mix those uh, as far as the lip liner goes. And then I have my collection right here, which again is available over at Ofra. Hot Mess Mama is the liquid lippy and then Butterfly Kisses right on top. Now if this is too light for you guys and you do want to darken it up, it's easy peasy. All you got to do is darken it with your lip liner. If you want a different undertone, just use a different color lip liner. I do that a lot uh, with this particular lip duo and I really like it. So anyways friends, I will have everything linked and listed down below if you guys are curious about like my concealer, foundation, and everything. I'll just tell you this now, but I also have on, we'll also link it below for you guys too. For foundation, I actually have on the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromanic Tinted Glow Hydrator. Uh, if you are curious about the shade, it's 41 Light Medium. And then for concealer, I have on the Kosas Concealer and 1.5C. It's super, super light, I know, um, but I really like the way it looks underneath my eyes. And because it's a hydrating concealer, it doesn't accentuate like the wrinkles and crinkles whatsoever. Uh, as far as powder under my eyes, I have the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Filter. And I actually, through cleaning everything, I found this by Terry. Uh, this is a colorless powder. Now, my thoughts on it, I like it, but sometimes I have to be careful because I do feel like, I think it's supposed to be hydrating, but sometimes I feel like it does make me look a little drier. It's a hyaluronic ultra powder. So I feel like I notice that I have to like set my face a lot, like spray some setting spray on it and really push it down into my skin because it does, especially mixed with the Urban Decay for whatever reason, it really starts looking dry. So I gotta be careful on that, but that is what I have on today. And then of course for like bronzer and contour, I do have Bittersweet. Bittersweet is on. I do have my blusher, my highlighter on as well. And then I did take some of this bronzer from the Miami palette, the Cafecito shade, and I have that on too. So uh, pretty much all, all the powders and everything, that is all from Ofra Cosmetics. So everything is gonna be linked and listed down below. Once again, thank you guys so, so much. If you made it to the end of today's video, I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you back here in the hot mess beauty room. Well, in the next video. <laughs> okay guys, until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Mwah.